Hey everyone, I'm okay. So today we're going to be talking about a condition called angular shellitis. And this is a condition that affects the sides of the mouth and can cause them to crack, to bleed, to be open sores and to create a lot of redness around that area. I have had angular shellitis many times throughout the years. I was probably, I think I haven't had it for about three or four years until this week where I noticed it in the corner of my mouth when I opened it relatively wide and I felt it. It is actually a relatively easy condition to treat. The problem is, is you have to catch it very early and you have to use the right medication because it can be a trial and error game. Now, you can get angular schleitis from being out in the cold and the sides of the lips cracking. That is absolutely possible. Nine times out of 10, it is caused by yeast infection. And the reason I get it or have got it so often is because I'm a yeasty boy. So I tend to get um, a very, very itchy scalp. I also get, there's a name for it, I've forgotten, but where I get lots and lots of flakes in my beard as well, all around the yeast kind of family. So it's no surprise that I have it myself or have had it throughout the years. Mine is actually just going at the moment. I'll kind of zoom in here a bit. You might better see it's a bit red and it's very, very sore. Now, when it's not caused by yeast, it can also be caused by an infection. And for that, you need an antibiotic treatment. I'm gonna show you the treatments that I have, and it is hard to know which one is gonna work. Sometimes you have to work through different things in order to be able to find the correct um, use. Originally, for me, um, Dactarin Gold worked perfectly well and cured it within a day 95% of the time. But then I had to switch things up because I guess I had different forms of yeast or something was happening. So I'll show you the ones that um, I currently use. So the first one is Dactarin Gold. There we go. And this is the one that works for me most of the time. In this case, it didn't. This features the active ingredient ketoconazole, I believe it's called. Now, then there are other treatments as well. So we're talking yeast now. So you can try Dactacort. This features another um, active ingredient and it also contains hydrocortisone. This features the active ingredient um, mycoconazole, I believe it's called. There's also a dactarin featuring the same ingredient that is for oral use. And come on, there it is. And this is a lot more pleasant to put on the sides of the mouth. This works very, very well. Then you can also try your standard thrush treatments such as caniston, which is uh, I think the active ingredient is called uh, clotrimazole, and it's a 2%, and it's your basic thrush treatment for caniston. When it isn't caused by thrush or yeast, we'll call it yeast because it isn't really thrush, but it's a yeast infection, um, you may need a medicated treatment that contains an antibiotic. Um, Flucidin is the cream. This works incredibly well when it is an actual infection as opposed to a yeast problem. The other way to deal with this problem, and I forget to do this myself, is to get a shampoo that is medicated, particularly for um, scalps that are very, very easily irritated. Um, there are lots on the market, each featuring the similar ingredients that I mentioned. You can also use these just around the corners of the mouth to wash your face in afterwards, just apply a little bit. It can keep things at bay. It is a very painful condition and it can be, it can make eating very painful. You, the redness can spread all the way down. It is a nasty, nasty condition. When I had it, I was trying, in the beginning, I was trying everything I could think of in order to get rid of it and going on the internet. And very few people actually spoke about the yeast connection when it is nine times out of 10, the most common cause of it. When I realized it was that, I literally just went and got some athlete's foot cream popped it on and it was gone within the day, or at least on its way out. But most of the time, it can be quite a complicated problem to deal with. It isn't transferable, you can't pass it on to anyone. It's just, it just can be unsightly and painful. But these treatments work, they absolutely work. Mine is on its way out now, thankfully. The one that worked this time <clears throat> was Dactarin um, Oral Gel, which is the sugar-free one. As soon as I put it on, I could feel the sting and therefore I knew it was working and it was on its way out. <clears throat> There's a tendency when we put it on to keep testing the area by opening our mouth and 
don't do that. Leave it be <laughs> the best you can. Don't open it any wider than is necessary. Mm. And then put it on at night, go to sleep. You should notice a massive difference in the morning. Keep reapplying it as well every couple of hours. It can look like because you're putting stuff on the side of your mouth, it can be a bit, you know, like you're drooling. Vanity aside, get rid of it. Keep treating it once it's gone. Respect the corners of the mouth. Use lip balm on the corners of the mouth if you're prone to it. Again, I forget until it comes back and then I'm like, I better do that and then I'll forget again. Okay, that's it. That's the treatments for Anglicillitis. Horrible, miserable condition, but it's treatable and you can get rid of it fast. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've suffered with it and what your treatments are that you use that work every time. I would love to know. Leave them in the comment section, pretty please. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.